So you've seen all sorts of these new activity trackers from Fitbit and Jawbone and Nike and all sorts of different companies. Well, for the past week, I've been wearing one from Runtastic. And uh, we're going to find out what makes it better than all the others and where this market's going uh, right now with Runtastic. Who are you? Well, first off, Robert, thanks uh, very much for having me in today. Uh, my name is Josh Schaefer. I'm Vice President of Business Development for Runtastic here in the U.S. Um, Runtastic is a, we'll call it an Austrian success story, right? We've been around for five years, uh, started in 2009. And how I got involved with them in 2011 was actually quite an interesting story. So I did my MBA school in Barcelona, and a good buddy of mine from uh, the school there was an Austrian guy. Did really, really well for himself. Stefan sold a company or two and got involved in the startup scene in Austria. Austria being literally population-wise the size of the Bay Area and not very much bigger, geographically speaking, uh, it was easy to find out about what the up-and-coming startup companies. So Stefan was an angel with Runtastic and uh, they had a board meeting and they said, you guys are starting to do really well in Germany and a few other places in Europe, Austria, et cetera. But you guys aren't doing so well in co countries like US and other Anglo countries. He says, I think I know someone who can help you out. Next day he skypes me and he goes, Josh, you still fit? I go, yeah. You still like to run? I go, yeah. He says, are you still into tech? I said, yeah. Well, you and Florian, the CEO of Runtastic, need to connect. Next day we talk on Skype. Six weeks later, I'm going to plane to Austria. And in three years, we've seen the company grow from you know, a few million downloads to 85 million downloads, 40 million registered users, and obviously uh, the launch of our newest hardware product, the Orbit. What makes this different than like a Fitbit or a job owner? Yeah. Or is it the same thing and you're just uh, marketing it to your uh, so that's install a, base? That's of course the, the million dollar question, right? Yeah. And it's a, it's a great question. We spent a lot of time and effort on coming up with the right wearable that we thought would fit our audience and just becoming a really great lifestyle product. This isn't for marathon runners, this is for anyone and everyone. It's really a 24 seven, uh, activity and fitness and sleep tracker, track sleep as well. Yeah. But when we did this, we, we looked at some of the, the products that were currently out there, spent a lot of time on developing it and figuring out what is the right thing to do. So everything from making sure that it locks correctly so it doesn't come off because we've heard complaints about others doing that. Yeah, the Misfit Shine actually is one of my favorites. It feels really nice, so it yeah. has an empathetic feel to your skin. But the early bands that they had it popped out, and then all of a sudden, a hundred dollars is lying on the street. You know? <laughs> exactly, or just the class system on some of these may not work yeah. real well, or yeah. simple things like maybe there was metal in them and it could scratch up your laptop. We wanted to make sure that none of this would take place with the product that we launched. Even thought about what kind of material we're using, not a sweaty material, so it's not it doesn't get all stinky or anything like that. And then, you know, we wanted to, to really spend a lot of time on versatility. Yeah. So with this, of course, it comes with comes with the band and you can see here as you go through it does your step counts yep it does your calories burn throughout the day and then it also does something called active minutes yep and so that's a little bit about the product here and it comes with a black band and it has a watch and it has a watch <laughs> and an alarm <laughs> and, and a alarm. vibrator so you know with or vibrate so it vibrates really easily when you wake up and you can set uh, alarms throughout the day and of course, idle tracking as well. A couple so. of things I really like, by the way, just because I've been wearing it for a week. Uh, one, the battery lasts a long time. Yep. Uh, five days, let's say, maybe even longer, if you don't play with it too much. <laughs> if you're always- Yeah, if you're clicking on the OLED nonstop, or if you're doing the Orbit Connect, which we'll talk about in a second, yeah, yeah. it can definitely use, drain the battery a lot quicker. And it's water waterproof. Waterproof, you got it. I, so I took it, I wear it in the shower, I never take it off. Exactly, right? there's no need to, wear it in the hot tub, you know, go swimming with it, doesn't matter, scuba dive, down to 300 feet, uh, it's waterproof, which we didn't want, you know, you don't want to have to deal with Customers being unhappy, returning it because it, you know, it's cra it leaks with water, or it just shorts out. So we wanted to spend. That was really important to add that feature. Plus, any with these, and I've tried a lot of them. Uh, if you have to take it off, chances are you won't put it back on. And everybody has their Fitbit story yep. where they. They put it, you know, they put put it on the charger and they never started wearing or it. Or they again. threw it in their jean pocket and then they threw it in the washing machine. 
Yeah. And it's toast. So I've heard that story before. So yeah, to answer the question you asked earlier about what makes you know Runtastic Orbit different than than the other wearables out there, I mean we could talk about the product and some of the cool features, the ambient light, and some of those other things, which I will mention in, in a second. But what really makes it special, in my opinion, is the Runtastic ecosystem. Yeah. And that, as you mentioned earlier, you have millions of users using your apps and doing all those different things, and and that's one of the really exciting things. So. Um, the, the, la the app that we launched in conjunction with uh, the Orbit today is called the Runtastic Me app. It's a yeah. free app on both iOS and Android. And this is the, where your Orbit syncs to. And if you don't have an Orbit, which is not on the market quite yet, but it will be for sale on uh, August 11th and, and or 13th in both Europe and the US, um, this still track works as a pedometer. Yeah. So it uses an algorithm that we created in our pedometer app, as well as use the M7 or some of the higher uh, phones on Android as well. So today, uh, as you can see, I've, I've already done about you know, 6,600 steps. I did a, so using the Runtastic app, the, the core running app, the one we referenced earlier, I did a weight workout and then I went for a very short run. So all that syncs together. And that's one of the cool things about the, about the app. That's going to transfer that information over to your active minutes. So uh, it, once you're, if you're doing something like a six pack exercise with the Runtastic six pack, uh, those minutes, they might not be captured with your orbit because you're doing slow crunches and it's not counting the steps or an active minute, but we know that you did an active minute through our apps. So that's going to count as an active minute, which is a really cool parameter using our ecosystem of apps. So if I go like this right now, it's thinking I'm active? It's not, it's not probably not going to do it because you're not moving <laughs> forward enough, but you know, that's why if you're using the app and we capture that exercise or that workout that you did, it's going to transfer over to here. Got so it. we're able to aggregate everything so you get a true understanding of what you're doing. Okay. So. Cool. So everything from active minutes. So there's know. two separate apps that you guys have. Uh, that, that's a little bit confusing, right? Yeah. And so you have a, an app made for the more professional, you know, the guy who's running every day. Uh, and then you have an app for fat folks like me. <laughs> 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 Trying to get us to go walking a little bit more, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, we have, a, I, the way I like to see it is we have apps for, any, for anybody for any situation, yeah. right? So the Me app is really your dashboard app. That's going to tie together the Runtastic ecosystem. Yeah. So yeah, we do have the GPS running app. We do have apps if you want to work on things like push-ups or sit-ups or pull-ups. We have apps across the, a wide range of things. Um, the great thing is, like I said, they are going to feed all together into the MIA. So right. that's going to help you track things. So cool. um, with this, you, know, you can see everything from your calories burned, your distance tracked. Uh, I haven't, didn't start tracking my sleep last night, but it can show you what, what that looks like uh, here from the other night. You can see how well you slept uh, at the bottom there. Yeah. Uh, you asked. We mentioned something about the ambient light sensor. So yep. there's an ambient light sensor. Cool thing about this is we can see when you're outside, and we can start to I, get really good ideas on what to do in the future with this product because we can constantly update the orbit through the app using firmware. Wow. Which is exciting. So let's say you're outside, you're out in the sun for 45 minutes, and then all of a sudden it, it vibrates, and you get a reminder saying, "Don't forget to put on sunscreen." Yeah. So those are things that we can do usually utilizing the sensors and utilizing the firmware updates. So. Okay. This is a version one, and we, are, we have a lot of ideas on what to do about integrations and, and new notifications. So it's really exciting. So. Very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, it's well thought through. It's, uh, it does what it's supposed to do. So let's talk about the industry, right? Yeah, sure, of course. How, uh, there, there's basis out there that has heart rate sensor underneath it. Um, there's uh, Fitbit, which has probably the best of the brand names. There's uh, yeah, the Misfit yeah. Chime that has uh, probably the best battery life. And uh, what else is out there? There's a bunch of we them could, coming. Yeah, we have smart watches. We could talk. And then about we're all bit. waiting for Apple. Of course, right? So we don't know yet what Apple is and how good it is or how bad it is. If Apple's product sucks, it really does open up a opportunity for you guys to jump in there and, and say, "Hey, we don't suck." Yeah, you know? I think you're right. I mean, as you mentioned, it's a well thought out product. It works really well with our our apps or other apps and. And also, you know, we are moving into the U.S., but we have a really strong uh, footprint in Europe. We're the, you know, the number one health and fitness apps in, in many of the continental Europe, European countries, Germany, France, Spain, Italy. Um, you know, we have a strong retail presence there. So this product's going to, we think, going to be really well received over there as well as here. It also might go, um, you know, the Pebble watches out there. So these sure. smart watches, I have the Samsung, you have a couple of these yep. smart watches. We were Played around with quite a few, yeah. Yeah. And that's different than an activity tracker, sure. right? It's, it's trying to be bigger because you want a screen that you can see a notification on and you want to play a video, a little game or something like that and, and see some information. Yep. Uh, I think the Apple one might be 
uh, using the beacons that are at the mm -hmm. sports stadiums that uh, Apple's putting beacons in the sports down stadium. Down the street or down, down 101. Yeah. Yeah. So when you walk in, it might do stuff like, would you like to pay for your hot dog? Yes or no, sure. Right. You know, so there might be a payment thing. That's going to be a different thing than an activity tracker, isn't it? Yeah, again, this is a lifestyle tracker. You know, yeah. it, it, it helps you really um, improve your well-being. Yeah. You can set goals in there, you know, and do all those different things. And it's, it's moving. It's, it's, we always believe that you have to get up off the couch, yeah. right? And then you have to take that first step. And then you have to take that thousand step and then get to that goal of, what is it, 10,000 steps? Maybe it's 11,000 steps and really improve your overall well-being. So right now we're really excited about these things because we're doing a really good job of tracking all this information. But now with products like this and the dashboard app, me and our other apps, so we're gonna we really want to move from that, that tracking into training and teaching and really say, hey, you know, Robert, today you should you know go for that three kilo, uh, three mile walk and you should do you know do your push ups uh, level one at, you know et cetera. And then we are able to really provide you with all that information yeah. utilizing that runtastic ecosystem of apps. So that's yeah. that's. Uh, differentiator we think and you know Plus, until you, we see some of these other things we don't know like Steve Jobs says great artist ship <laughs> and you're sure. shipping yeah exactly we're we're, we're hitting the where store. we don't know when the Apple one is gonna ship they they probably will ship before early next year right maybe I don't know rumor has it I got we you read know, similar but, blogs. So we, you can, I hate it when people say, oh, I should uh, wait <laughs> to spend $100 <laughs> because something might come out tomorrow. Well, there's always going to be tomorrow exactly. a, a better thing and a yeah. newer thing. You're probably going to have more products in this space coming out. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm assuming we're not done. So yeah, yeah. Uh, well, a lot more to come and you know, we're excited about it. So with the launch of our, our, our web store here in the US as well this week, uh, you know, good things are happening and it, and it, pairs really well with the other hardware that we have. Well, as of uh, August 11th, this is the best one. So thank you for uh, right. bringing it in. Thanks for having me and I had a really good time. Thanks a lot. Thanks.